kid, how you doing? Tony lad, good to see you again. How's business treating you? How's the family? Funny you should ask, because I'm actually here on business. Oh yeah, really? We've got another job coming up. Tony, have you ever heard the name Neil McCauley? Yeah, of course I heard of him. The guy's been dead for almost 30 years now. What are you talking about? Tony, have you ever heard of the multiverse? Multiverse? What is that, like some kind of gender? Three days ago, an anomaly was detected at a government black site. We believe it was a dimensional warper. We're putting together a team of highly skilled individuals to break into this black site and use the interdimensional travel. Why would anybody want to do that? So we can travel to a universe where Neil is still alive and bring him here. We're looking to get back into business, of course. Nah, this job might be too big for us this time. So you're telling me we gotta go into another timeline or another universe, get this guy out and bring him to Oz? Tony, that's exactly what I'm saying. Guys, you better get out of there. The heat's right around the corner. I guess you can count me in. Gentlemen, welcome back to the agency. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to steal the bank's money. Don't worry, it's not your money. Your money's protected by the federal government. You're not going to lose a dime. All right, so today I'm going over this heat rig. Okay, it's a real simple video. This is a real simple piece of, real, real simple, right? Piece of kit. This is, I'm trying a different environment as well, by the way. So I got the, I have a truck, so I can't do, you know, like the back of a truck like a lot of YouTubers do. I got to do the back of a Honda CRV. So here's, this is what we got. So it is essentially a movie prop from the movie Heat. If you've ever seen 1995 movie directed by Michael Mann, starring Bell Kilmer, Al Pacino, and Robert De Niro. Uh, they rob a bank in that movie. Uh, and they use these under their suits. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen uh, Heat, by the way. But they get into a shootout with the police, and this is what they're wearing under their uh, jackets and whatnot. So Commando Store went out of their way to recreate that prop, uh, kind of make some improvements on it, and bring that to the market for a whopping $200. Now, do I think this is worth $200? Well, we'll get into that. So. Essentially what it is, is a, it's a net, okay, with Velcro and elastic. That's about as simple as I can put it. It's a, you're able to carry uh, six mags down here on the torso, stomach area, and then up towards the chest. You have two additional magazines. You can retake the mags out like so, where you just slide it out, or you can choose to do like a rip away kind of thing. So for example, I find that like going towards the bottom, starting with the lowest mags is easier. You can like rip away the mags and then load that way and this will come undone and then you can just do a quick reload. They'll kill them style if you're trying to recreate that from the movie. Naturally, if you have a 733, how could you not recreate such a iconic moment? Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's kind of a novelty item, right? I'm not going to give it like a hardcore review as far as like long-term usage. Like I'm, I haven't gone airsoft. This would be like a pretty cool piece of airsoft kit for, I mean, 200 bucks is pretty steep in my opinion. All right, so let's talk real world applications, okay? If you're a bank robber, all right, you're a criminal, all right, this might be the chest rig for you, okay? Now, I'm not endorsing crime 
bank robbing. In fact, you should not do it, okay? Unless it's like a self-defense situation, you should probably not be robbing banks, okay? Let's go ahead and throw up the Risky Krisky disclaimer. Activities discussed in this video are for entertainment purposes only. Do not try to recreate anything you've seen here or break any local, federal, or state laws and tell the government I told you to do so, because this is me telling you not to do so. All right, so getting that out of the way, okay? What can you actually, if you're a real citizen who cares about gear and all this stuff, what is this actually used for? If you need to conceal, uh, I don't know, 240 rounds at a wedding or funeral, you know, maybe the cartel's coming after you and you need to just have uh, a whole a full combat load, more than a combat load, under your suit jacket, right? This might be for you. Other than those uses, uh, it's kind of a meme, okay? It's kind of a, it's kind of a cool prop to have, right? If you're going for a Halloween costume, if you want to impress your friends, if you have a Colt 733 and you need a piece of kit to go with it for Instagram or Reddit or whatever the case may be, right? This is going to be the piece of uh, kit for you, all right? It is, uh, you know, it doesn't feel like, I hate to admit it, all right, Commando Store, I like Commando Store guys, all right? They're like, uh, the Commando Store guys kind of remind me of like Americana Pipe Dream, but with more anime and balaclavas, if that makes sense. A little more slav to them, as opposed to Americana Pipe Dream. They're very similar, right? They do a lot of the same stuff. It's a surplus store, but Commando Store actually makes a lot of their stuff in-house. As far as I know, they make this, and they make the Pattern 84 chest rig system on their website, which is like an upgrade to the Pattern 83. I haven't reviewed a Pattern 83 or uh, even worn one before, so I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll check it out. Uh, if Commando Store likes this video, they, maybe they want to uh, send me one, right? Just kidding. I'm not affiliated with them at all, right? I bought this. I bought this on sale. I think it was like 150 bucks whenever it came out, because I was like kind of interested. Kind of wanted to do a heat video. A lot of people beat me to it, but you know what? It's all right. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna get through it. So they make this in-house. I will say the Velcro doesn't feel terribly high quality. Uh, it kind of is fraying already. And I mean, that kind of sucks. You could probably upgrade this with like some more, some better quality Velcro. Uh, it's just, this is not, I've not used this. I've not done hard use with this, right? I've worn it for the video and a couple other times in my house walking around just to kind of mess around with it. Uh, it is a pretty cool novelty item though. So if like you're interested in some kind of LARP, right? Bank robber LARP, maybe you payday even, you, this might work for you. Uh, but that's really the, that's really what it is. It's got these straps here on the back that you can adjust it. Uh, they have a whole video talking about it way better than I do, right? How to size it with the suit, uh, how to do all that stuff. My suit that I got, I just went to the thrift store and got the closest thing. My suit doesn't really button as well as if you actually properly tailor it to your body. They have a whole video. I'll link their video so you can go check it out. Uh, but it is a pretty cool little novelty item. If you're a fan of the movie Heat, right, this is kind of a must-own piece of kit. If you have a 733, kind of a must-own piece of kit. Other than that, there's not a lot of practical uses for it. Uh, impressing your friends at the range, you know, pretty much it. So, hey, for some of you, that's a, that's a good enough reason. So knock yourself out. If you're into, like, concealing uh, some, some kind of kit, right, there's a lot of other chest rigs that you'd probably use before this. I could think of, like, some micro rigs, a small piece of kit to keep some ammo, some medical, water, whatever and then conceal that with like a jacket, right? I think like T-Rex Arms has something like that. I think like Haley Strategic has like a real micro chest rig as well. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff on the market for concealing magazines and whatnot. Are you ever gonna need eight magazines concealed under a suit? Thanks for checking this video out, right? For, as far as the gun goes, because some of you, this may be the first video, this is just a Luth Colt Anderson abomination that I came up with here. Uh, C7 on a Colt 6920 barrel. And then a uh, Anderson lower car stock, skinny handguards. I got a little piece of uh, Magpul rail right here, pick rail, where I attach my flashlight whenever I, if you've seen my Gothic Serpent video, my Delta Force, whatever, wannabe gun, uh, you'll see where I attach a flashlight down here, the Surefire 6P. But, and I got a canteen sling with some paracord rigged up. Right, this is not, uh, nothing new. And I got the 20 rounds, Brownells, terrible mags. But uh, that's all, that's, as far as the gun goes, that's what we're rocking. And uh, the suit was from Goodwill, so thanks for stopping by, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe, ring that bell, and uh, watch the movie Heat, all right? If you're into retro guns, it's kind of mandatory you watch Heat, all right? The, th the big three I think of are Blood Diamond, Black Hawk Down, and Heat, right? Kind of, uh, I haven't even seen Blood Diamond, to be honest with you. I actually have never seen that movie. But those are the, the big three, like, to really call yourself a retro bro. I guess I've lost my right to call myself a true retro bro because of that. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, you know what? If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you enjoy it, you know, go ahead and ring the bell, all right? You guys already know how to do that stuff, but uh, knock yourself out, all right? Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.